salvation, and happiness. It's your season. It's your time. God has plans for your life to prosper you and to give you hope and a future. Join us and learn how God's love and power can bring hope and happiness to your life. Welcome, church family. It's Nicole Rogers with another great segment of the Daily Gospel Network, where we bring you the Word of God and soul-stirring encouragement from churches, pastors, and choirs from all over the country. And today is no different. Check out this sermon from one of our incredible ministry leaders. Wherever you are around the world, just say after me, thank you, Jesus. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the solution. Jesus is life. Hallelujah, Lord. I'm excited to come live again to speak to you and your family, wherever you are around the world. This is Dr. Bonnie today with World Mission TV. Lives are being changed around the world. Today, I'm speaking on the need for the Holy Spirit. Not by might, not by human power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Oh my God, I'm excited about the lesson today on the Holy Spirit. Listen carefully. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of revelation. All the prophets needed the Holy Spirit. Daniel needed the Holy Spirit. Joseph needed the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives revelations. He gives understandings. He gives answers to hidden mysteries. If you are seeking for answers, you need the Holy Spirit. You are seeking for God to uh, unfold or reveal things to you. You need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of revelation. It will take away ignorance. It will take away blindness. It will give enlightening because that is what the Holy Spirit does. Joseph prayed and received answers to the dream of Pharaoh. Daniel prayed and received answers to the hidden dream of Nebuchadnezzar. Today I come to speak in your life by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Lord will reveal to you the things you did in a time like this. The Lord will reveal to you answers to the questions of your life. Yes, the Lord will reveal to you hidden mysteries about the future He has for you. I love the Holy Spirit because He is the Spirit of Revelation. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of divine inspiration. Oh my God. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you speak, you sing, you think, you perform in another dimension. I come to release this inspiration of the Holy Spirit upon your life. Maybe you're a businessman, you're a teacher, you're a lawyer, you're whatever you're en engaging to do. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of inspiration. He will give you divine ideas that will change everything about your life. I sense in my spirit today, there is somebody at the sound of my voice. The Lord is saying to you, you have been struggling with your own human ability. It's time to receive divine inspiration. It's time to receive divine insight. It's time to receive divine ideas. It's time to receive the revelation of the Lord. When the Lord reveals to you, He gives you solution. When the Lord inspires you, it must work. Hallelujah, Lord. That is why with the Holy Spirit, success is guaranteed. With the Holy Spirit, success is guaranteed. I mean, just tell yourself, with the Holy Spirit, success is guaranteed. The Holy Spirit reveals. The Holy Spirit inspires. Allow the Lord to use you to give you divine ability to sing, to write, to perform. By the Holy Spirit, your outcome will be different. Oh my God, I love this one, I tell you. By the Holy Spirit, the outcome is always distinguished. By the Holy Spirit, your performance will be different. By the Holy Spirit, your ministry will be different. By the Holy Spirit, your family will be different. By the Holy Spirit, your preaching will be different. By the Holy Spirit, hear the voice of the Lord. In this very season, you cannot do it without the Holy Spirit. It will take the Holy Spirit. Whether you are in Africa, you are in Asia, you are in Europe, hear the voice of the Lord. You need the spirit of revelation. You need the Holy Spirit for inspiration. It will take the Holy Spirit in these last days to see the move of God like never before. I come to release by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. 
the presence of God all over your life, the presence of God all over your body, the presence of God all over your mind, the presence of God all over your house. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Hear the, hear, hear the voice of the Lord. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of wisdom and understanding. How did Solomon become the wisest man? The Lord gave him wisdom. I speak today, there's a dimension of wisdom you cannot get through secular researches. You get by that impartation of the Holy Ghost. I just sense that knowing to hear there is somebody at the sound of my voice. You have been struggling with a research program. You have been struggling seeking for an answer. You have been struggling. Your wisdom, your knowledge is limited. Receive a release of the wisdom of God in your life. Receive solution to that difficult problem receive a way out to that difficult situation by the dimension of wisdom of God let God give you the keys for the breakthrough yes by the wisdom of the Holy Ghost, I can sense in my spirit there's a young girl watching me right now receive this anointing of wisdom to make that difference receive the, the wisdom dimension to get the answers you've been praying for Listen carefully, you need the wisdom of God to live a life in this time and make a difference. Without divine wisdom, men are falling and rising, they're making terrible mistakes in businesses. The wisdom of God, the knowledge of God, the understanding of God will help you secure your family, secure your marriage, secure your business, secure your spiritual life and make it in the time of trouble. We are living in the last days and things are shaking. It will take the Holy Spirit in your life to survive the tribulations coming in the world. You need the Holy Spirit in your life to empower you, enable you, give you divine wisdom like never before to get answers and insight into the seasons we live to make a difference. You, it will take the Holy Spirit in your life because you need wisdom from God. The knowledge of the world is failing. And a child of God, listen, don't depend on the knowledge of the world. It's time to connect with Abba Father and say, Lord, speak to me. Lord, impact me with divine wisdom. Lord, release today divine understanding. Lord, release today the spirit of revelation. I speak in your life. Let God visit you with the spirit of revelation. Let the Lord visit you with divine inspiration. Let the Lord visit you with the spirit of wisdom. Let God visit you with the spirit of understanding. You are stepping out in the new power. You are stepping out to cause a new shifting. You are stepping out with the anointing of the Holy Spirit to make a difference. Hear the voice of the Lord. It will take the Holy Spirit to make a difference in these last days. It will take the Holy Spirit to make a difference in these last days. If you're a pastor, you're, you're a statesman, you're a businessman, it's time to go on your knees and say, Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Just say after me, Holy Spirit, I need you more than ever before. Holy Spirit, I need you in my family. Holy Spirit, I need you in my business. Holy Spirit, I need you in my church. Holy Spirit, I need you you in my body holy spirit i need you more than ever before it's time to seek him more than ever before just keep declaring holy spirit i need you more than ever before have your way holy spirit in my family have your way holy spirit in my job station have your way holy spirit with my children and grandchildren have your way holy spirit in the ministry have your way holy spirit in my finances have your way holy spirit receive the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to manage your affairs. Joseph managed Egypt by the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Moses led the children of Israel through 40 years wilderness by the wisdom of the Holy Ghost. 
With the Holy Ghost, you cannot fail. Just tell yourself, I cannot fail in the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord, your marriage cannot fail in the Holy Ghost. As long as you launch yourself in the wisdom of God, in the power of God, in the grace of God, God is able to show you the way out and show you principles that will make you rise up and grow and succeed. Listen, God's wisdom will give you insight it will give you keys. It will give you principles that will distinguish you in the marketplace. I come to speak to as many today, the sound of my voice, that you need the Holy Spirit more than ever before. Whatever you are engaged to do, it's time to humble yourself and call on the name of the Lord because He is able to release a new dimension within you. Yes, God is able to ignite a new dimension within you and cause you to rise beyond the ordinary. Oh, that is for somebody. Rise beyond the ordinary. Rise beyond your capacity. Rise beyond your understanding. Rise in the power of the Holy Ghost. It is not by mind, not by human power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. I can hear the Lord saying, I will cause you to rise beyond the ordinary. This is for you. Yes, this is for you. Hear the voice of the Lord. The Lord is saying to you by the Holy Spirit, He will cause you to rise up beyond the ordinary. He will cause you to rise up beyond your knowledge, beyond your capacity, beyond your ability. Receive this word in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, Lord. So by the Holy Ghost, and, and by the Holy Ghost, I tell you, whether you're a farmer, you need the Holy Ghost. Whether you're a preacher, you need the Holy Spirit. Whether you're a singer, you need the Holy Spirit. Whether you're an author, you need the Holy Spirit. I come to address to you today, it will take the Holy Spirit to pick you out and distinguish you in these last days. It will take the Holy Spirit to establish you with wisdom and understanding. It will take the Holy Spirit to enable you to get divine concepts like never before. It will take the Holy Spirit to establish your business, establish your company. It will take the divine hand of the, of, of the Lord upon your life through the Holy Spirit to give you principles that will distinguish you in the marketplace. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of understanding, but the Holy Spirit also is the spirit of illumination. You know, Paul has been praying and saying, may the grace of God bring illumination, bring enlightenment, bring divine light within your mind. Yes, there's a divine light within your mind. God made the light. Let, the, let this divine light of God. Jesus is light, but the light of the Holy Ghost is a light that shines within you. Let the light of God shine in your mind. Now tell yourself, let the light of God shine in my mind. I speak to you today. You need this divine light. This enlightenment, this divine illumination that God himself quickens your faculties, quickens your inner man and gives you light. You are no more in darkness. You are no more in ignorance. You are no more in a realm of no answers. With the light of God, by the Holy Spirit, you see things anew. You see things anew. Yes, by the light of God, by the Holy Spirit, you see things anew. By the light of God, you are getting breakthroughs. Oh, my Kamba Sire. By the light of God, you're getting breakthroughs. You're getting mysterious breakthroughs. I declare today, in this season, a new dimension of the light of God in your mind, a new dimension of divine information downloaded in your life. Now, this is for you. In this very season, there's a new dimension of heavenly downloads into your life. By the light of God, there will be a heavenly download of wisdom and ideas, enlightenment, new concepts. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive the light of God for solutions. Receive the light of God for answers. Receive the light of God for breakthroughs. Receive the light of God for miracles. Receive the light of God for new platforms. Receive the light of God in your life. Oh my God, it's time to shine. No devil will stop the light dimension in your life. No more living in darkness. 
let it be done. Hallelujah. This light of God, yes, this light of God, the light of God will change everything around you. Can you sense the light shining brighter than the sun? The light of God shining within you. The light of the Holy Spirit shining within you. No darkness can resist the light of God in you. Just tell yourself, no darkness can resist the light of God in me. No demonic forces can resist the light of God in you. Yet the voice of the Lord, I prophesy in your life, is your season to step in the light of God. No enemy can stop your next dimension. No power of darkness can stop your next dimension. At least the light of God. Let every darkness bow before you. I speak in the name of Jesus. For as many are the sound of my voice. I hear the voice of the Lord saying, decree and release that word. Darkness has failed in your life. Occultism has failed in your life. Voodoo power has failed in your life. Every sickness power has failed in your life. Let the light shine through your bones. Let the light shine in your marrows. Let the light shine through your kidneys. Let the light shine through your organs. Let the light shine through your heart. Let the light shine through your abdomen. Let the light shine in your womb. Let the light shine in your brain. And I cast out every disease. I cast out every sickness. I cast out every Every infirmity, a come back as some Europe. Let the light dimension shine in your life. Every captivity is broken, every chain is broken, every sickness is broken, every addiction is broken because the light of God carries fire. Let the light of God shine. Oh, come back as Sierra. Let the light of God shine. Every sickness, every infirmity be consumed by the light of God. Receive it in Jesus' name. The light that comes by the Holy Spirit, this is the light of God that heals. The light of God heals. The light of the Holy Spirit transforms. The light of the Holy Spirit breaks yokes. The light of the Holy Spirit shines through darkness and darkness cannot comprehend. The light of God, I speak to their sons and daughters, men and women around the world. Let the light of God shine in your marriage, shine in your children, shine in your family, I cast out every walk of darkness, let it go in the name of Jesus Christ, the enemy has failed against your children, the enemy has failed against your family, the enemy has failed against your health, the enemy has failed against your destiny, the enemy has failed against your prosperity, the enemy has failed because the light of God is shining around you I come to declare today I can see the light of God shining around you there's a circle of glory this is for you there's a circle of glory surrounding your life no darkness will influence you anymore listen when this light comes in your life it changes everything the light of God changes everything. Hallelujah, Lord. You know Jesus Christ, by the spirit of revelation, God reveals his son to you. And once you know Jesus died for you, oh, nothing can stop it. I can see Jesus who was nailed on the cross for me. Jesus shed his blood for me. Jesus was nailed on that cross for me. I can see Jesus. He was hanging on that cross. I can hear Jesus say, it is finished on the cross. Jesus died on the cross for me. By the spirit of revelation, I see Jesus Christ buried. I see Jesus resurrected on the third day. And Jesus Christ is alive within me. I see Jesus. I see his power in me. I see his glory in me. This is your day. To know Jesus by revelation. To receive the light of Jesus Christ within your life. This light of God shines because the Holy Spirit illuminates his word in your life. Receive the light of God. Let everything about you change for life. Zechariah 4 verse 6 and 7 is not by might, it's not by human power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of power. 
is the spirit of victory. The Holy Spirit will crush down every force of the enemy. I speak in your life, not by human might, not by human power, but by the Holy Spirit. Just say after me, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of victory. Oh my God. Listen. You cannot fail in the battle if you are fighting with the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. You cannot fail in the warfare if you are fighting with the Holy Spirit. David could not be killed in battle. He was anointed. Men of God don't die in battle because they are anointed. Come back, I speak in your life today by the Holy Spirit. Your victory is guaranteed. In every warfare you involve, by the Holy Spirit, your victory is guaranteed. Just tell yourself, by the Holy Spirit, my victory is guaranteed. From this very month to the end of this year, don't fight fleshly battles. The Holy Ghost in you cannot fail in a battle. Hallelujah. Hey, the Holy Spirit cannot fail in a battle because of the Holy Spirit. You keep winning. You keep winning. You keep winning. Hear the voice of the Lord. You will not fail another failure again as long as you submit yourself to the Holy Spirit. Receive in Jesus' name. Win in your school, win in your job site, win in the highway, win in the family, win financially by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every weapon formed against you will not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Every battle you engage by day and by night, you come out victorious because the Holy Ghost is able to go before you and subdue the force of the enemy. I hear the voice of the Lord saying, Tell my people it is a season of warfare. Tell my people it is a season of warfare. There's new warfare release in the atmosphere. Arise intercessors. Arise prayer warriors. Arise in the power of the Holy Ghost. I want to summon all the prayer warriors around the world to, to rise up in the power of the Holy Ghost. Church arise. We begin to decree today. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we subdue powers that fight against our nation. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we subdue powers that fight against our destiny. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we win the battle in the atmosphere. We win the battle in the heavenlies because of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit move in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in Middle East, in America. In South America, in Canada, let there be a move of the Holy Ghost. Let there be a new move of the Holy Spirit like never before. We need the Holy Spirit one more time like never before. Welcome the Holy Spirit in your city. Welcome the Holy Spirit in your family. Welcome the Holy Spirit in your church. Welcome the Holy Spirit in your life. When the Holy Spirit moves, there is victory. And I come to declare today, the church cannot fail because the church is led by the Holy Spirit. In this very last day, no weapon from against the church will prosper. Come to declare today, in these last days, hear the voice of the Lord. The church will win. The church keep winning because it's not the church of man. It is by the Holy Spirit. No weapon from against you, child of God, will prosper. Keep pressing on. Keep standing strong because the Holy Spirit is in you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Be bold in your faith. Be bold in the Lord. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Now listen, to get to me personally to pray with you, get to me personally one-on-one -on -one, to speak and pray with you, give me a call, plus one, two, four, oh, four, six, seven, zero, five, nine, zero. This is Bishop Bonnie from Well Mission International Worship Center here in Maryland. Why not plan to fellowship with us on Sunday? Hallelujah, Lord. Listen carefully. Because of the anointing, I want to speak in your life. You will not fail in this season. 
This very year, you will not fail in your home, you will not fail in your business, you will not fail in your job, you will not fail in your modern life, you will not fail with your children because the Holy Spirit is the winning anointing. Receive the winner's anointing. Oh, this is for somebody. Receive the winner's anointing. Receive the breakthrough power. Receive the miraculous power. Receive the wisdom power. Receive the victorious anointing receiving Jesus mighty name. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of victory. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of security. He will cover you. He will secure you by day and by night. Listen carefully. There is no fear where the Holy Spirit is present. Oh my God. I love this one. There is no fear where the Holy Spirit is present. The Holy Spirit is a spirit of security. He will hide you from the storms. He will hide you from the arrows of the enemy. He will hide you from every spiritual wickedness. Just say after me, no enemy can get me because I am in the Holy Ghost. I love this one. Just confess it. No enemy can get me because I am in the Holy Ghost. Now listen, here the Lord said to me, it's time to rescue destinies. It's time to, to declare restoration of everything the devil has stolen. Hear the voice of the Lord. This is your season of divine exploit. This is your season to step out in the power of the Holy Ghost. This is your season to stand and decree a thing and it shall be established. Hear the voice of the Lord. The enemy cannot win. The enemy cannot win in your life. Jesus Christ is Lord. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of deliverance. I love this. This is the best part of this lesson. I want to announce to you, it's not by might, it's not by power, but by the Holy Spirit, every chain must be broken. Yes. Every chain will be broken. Every stronghold must come to an end. Every sickness must be healed. The Holy Spirit is a spirit of deliverance. There must be deliverance in your family. There must be deliverance in the church of God. Every captivity break. Every sickness leave. Every bondage leave. At least the healing power. At least the deliverance power. Every power of the enemy that bind your children. I cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. I send for deliverance to the ends of the world in Africa. I send deliverance, those in Europe, those in Asia, those in Middle East, those in the U.S. here. I send the anointing for deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your miracle. Just lay your hands on my hands. Lay your hands on my hands. Just say after me, in the name of Jesus, I receive my deliverance. I receive my victory. I receive my healing. I receive prosperity. I receive fruit of the womb. I receive my blessing. I receive immigration miracles. Receive in Jesus' name. Whatever is a situation, it is over. Receive that answer. This is Dr. Bonita. <laughs> Right. 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 Congratulations. Hallelujah. God bless you all today. This is Bishop Bonnie. I'm here to present to you World Mission International Bible College, University of Jerusalem. You can study anywhere in the world with our books. All you need is to apply and we mail these books to you. We offer programs in this diploma in ministry and excellence in the Bible. We offer bachelor's in ministry and prophetic studies. We offer master's degree in ministry and public speaking. All of this you can study at your home and take exam at the end of each course. Now we also have a campus in Boya, Cameroon where classes are going on Monday through Friday with teachers teaching every day. Our goal is to establish men and women with the call of God in the power of the Holy Spirit. Prepare them 
for international ministries. I was born in Cameroon. I live today in Maryland, touching nations of the world. My desire to see you being trained and being licensed and ordained and commissioned to fulfill your ministry in the continents of the world. This is your chance. Give me a call.